We begin tonight with a nationwide manhunt for a fugitive charged with a senseless murder of a police constable in Texas. Local, state, and federal authorities are on high alert tonight looking for this man, 51-year-old Oscar Rosales, wanted tonight for capital murder. Take a good look at your screen. Police say video evidence shows Rosales get out of his car during an early morning traffic stop on Sunday and fire multiple shots with an assault rifle at Corporal Charles Galloway. This is a murderer. This is a, a, a ruthless, savage execution. And somebody like this needs to be removed from the streets and removed from the streets very quickly. Corporal Galloway was with the force more than 12 years. He was known for mentoring and training young officers. He was a father and a brother. And now the search is on for the fugitive police say is armed and dangerous tonight. He's also known to disguise his appearance and his identity. There is a $60,000 reward being offered in this case. Constable Ted Heap is with the Houston's 5th Precinct where Corporal Galloway worked and he is joining us live tonight. Constable, we thank you for your time and first of all, my thoughts go out to you, your department and, uh, and, and your friend and colleague, the Galloway family. Well, thank you for having me on and uh, thank you for your prayers for, for the officers and, and men and women in blue and also for the Galloway family. I want to talk about uh, how this is impacting your department and hear more about Corporal Galloway in a moment. But I know the focus tonight is on finding this person who did this. Let me know the status of the manhunt at this hour. Well, he is, is currently still at large. Um, we are working very closely and the investigation is being led by the uh, Houston Police Department. Um, and they are, uh, I believe, closing the, the net on this individual very, very quickly. Uh, we have his common-law wife as well as his brother-in-law in custody now. Um, and uh, I think we're gathering information. And now with the help of the public, we're going to be able to get his picture out there, his name out there. And I feel that there's a lot of people in the city of Houston and Harris County who will be willing to come forward to bring this murderer off the streets. I mentioned a moment ago that this is a nationwide manhunt involving local, state, and federal authorities. Do you believe he's still in Houston or is he elsewhere? You know, right now we do believe that he is still local, uh, but we have uh, income, or included the, of course, we have assistance from the federal, our federal partners, as well as our state partners. So um, I don't think he's going to have a difficult time getting out of uh, the city of Houston or at least the state of Texas. So we're ready for him. And I think that we're going to keep him where he is and ultimately bring him to justice. I was watching the press conference closely earlier. The police chief did not say if the gun in this incident had been recovered. Does he still have that assault style weapon with him? Uh, we consider him armed and dangerous. Um, there has been a weapon recovered. There's not going to be any information released about that weapon at the time, at the, uh, currently, but there has been a weapon recovered. Um, whether or not it is the weapon used or not, we're not willing to say at this time. But he is to be considered armed and dangerous if, if we encounter him or if any of the public encounters him. Understood. Uh, earlier, you categorized uh, this awful event as ruthless, savage, and execution. I do know there is video of this shooting. Did Corporal Galloway have any time to react? Uh, the short answer to that is no. And that's exactly what it was. It was, it was a ruthless murder. It was an assassination. Um, Corporal Galloway uh, did not have time to defend himself. And um, so it was just, which, which made for a, a horrific scene. Uh, it was just something that was premeditated. There's no doubt in my mind that this individual was ready to take somebody's life if he was encountered on this evening and uh, in this early morning. And this is exactly what happened. What was the nature, Constable, of the traffic stop? You know, that's unknown. Um, at this time, it was unknown exactly what the probable cause was for him being pulled over. And uh, so that's, 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 at this point, unknown. We do have uh, video camera, dash camera video of the traffic stop itself, but the probable cause for the traffic stop we're unsure of. Was Corporal Galloway able to relay any information that is helping you in your investigation? No, he was not. It uh, happened so quickly he was unable to get on his uh, mobile data terminal or on the radio to be able to either call for help or to relay information. Let's talk about the public's role in all of this. I know there is a plea for people to be on the lookout for this dangerous criminal. Uh, police mentioned that Rosales has changed his appearance in the past. Can you elaborate on what people need to be looking for? 
Well, I think the best thing in, in any situation like this is to, to look at the face. Um, I would imagine the picture that is out there now is very similar to the picture that uh, we have uh, as far as uh, from our, our video recording that we have. So I would tell people first and foremost to look for this, but um, in, in other information that we have and, and it appears that he is capable of changing his look, um, I, could, I would look maybe at his face because he has been known to cut his hair very, very short or even shave his head at times. Do you know if he is in a particular vehicle folks to keep a lookout for? No, we do not. Uh, the vehicle that was used in the murder has been uh, recovered. So we do have that vehicle. Um, and right now it is being processed for evidence. Uh, so we do not know exactly the description of the vehicle. As I said earlier, two of his relatives have been charged for tampering with evidence. You have others in custody, as you mentioned. Do you think Rosales is getting help elsewhere from others he knows? Well, he's not getting help from those two. I can guarantee that. Um, but we're, right now we're in the process of, and in the investigation is uh, determining exactly that, whether or not he has other relatives in the area, whether or not he has friends and acquaintances uh, that may be uh, assisting him in this. But right now it looks like he is a desperate animal, that he is running, that he is hiding. And um, I think eventually he's going to show his head and uh, we're going to catch him. Uh, danger is part of the job for law enforcement. You know this uh, better than I. You've been doing it for almost four decades. Is it more dangerous now? Absolutely. Absolutely. And this becomes part of the challenge. Um, you know, the blatant disregard for life that we're facing now, the uh, disregard for authority. And, um, you know, we're, we're, we're dealing with the judicial system and, and, and bond reform and a lot of different issues. But the reality is, is that we have violent criminals. We're not talking about misdemeanor cases. We're not talking about somebody uh, throwing a, you know, a joint out the window. We're talking about violent criminals that are being placed back on our streets. People that don't hesitate to take the life. If he will do this to a police officer on a traffic stop, what would he do to your family? I know this is impacting your department greatly. As I said, Corporal Galloway was a mentor. He was a leader on your department and within your force. Uh, what did he mean to you and how do you want him to be remembered? Well, if anybody ever met Charles, the first thing you're going to remember about him is his smile. He was a, a giant of a man with a huge smile. And that's what came across to everybody. Um, as, as was mentioned before, that he is somebody who about four or five years ago uh, took the role on as a field training officer uh, to mentor young deputies who went intentionally to night shift where a lot of young officers are placed in the beginning of their career so that he could have an impact on his life. So we have a lot of young officers right now that are hurting and hurting horribly because of the loss of this friend and this mentor. And I think as a community, we're hurting because we've lost a, a tremendous human being. A great loss for you and so many. And our thoughts, as I said, uh, Constable, are with you tonight. And we will continue to follow the manhunt uh, for the person responsible in this heinous act. Thank you for your time. Thank you for having me on. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.